How's it going everybody? Welcome to Circling on Cinemas and that's Cinemas with an S and today I'll be giving you my review of The Mask and the reason why I'm doing this is because today is the first day the Wednesdays is going to be called Way Back Wednesday because it's a good excuse for me to give you a review on much older films so that is the case here. This is the first video on a new playlist called Way Back Wednesday in which I give you a review on a much older movie and I wanted to start with one of my favorites which is Jim Carrey, The Mask. Now before I begin, if you're new to this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment on the section below if you have anything to say, and most importantly, watch. So, The Mask, let's get started. So, The Mask centers on the timid bank clerk named Stanley, Stanley Ipkiss, played by Jim Carrey, who discovers a magical mask containing the spirit of the Norse god, Loki. His entire life changes while Wearing the mask, Ipkiss becomes a supernatural playboy, excluding charm and confidence, which allows him to catch the eye of a local nightclub singer named Tina Carlisle, played by a young Cameron Diaz, which is, this is her first movie, by the way. Unfortunately, under the mask's influence, Ipkiss also robs a bank, which angers junior crime lord Dorian Tyrell, whose goons get blamed for the heist instead. Now, the story of The Mask. First of all, during this time, The Mask was unlike anything that people had ever seen before because it has a mix of stylized action, a cartoon sense of comedy, and classic romance. Like those three combined just makes a very neat formula. And The Mask is still one of the best Jim Carrey movies because it basically allows him to do what he does best, to be nutty, silly, animated in every sense of the word. Despite comic book film adaptations not having such a high recognition or popularity during this time, as is the case nowadays with the MCU and all that, it certainly it is certainly one of the most wildly entertaining comic book movies out there. I don't know how accurate the movie is to the Dark Horse comics, although the Dark Horse comics are a lot more graphic than the movies are. But the story is just a grand mix of action, comedy, and romance. And it also has a pretty great soundtrack, too. Now, the characters. The, char the Mask is one of those movies where you just enjoy every single character, whether they're the protagonist or antagonist. Just like I said previously, I'm sure Jim Carrey really enjoyed this role as The Mask because it allowed him to go all out. Stanley Ipkiss allowed him to be sort of himself, because the character of Stanley Ipkiss is meant to represent the opposite of what the mask is, which is timid and mild manner. On the flip side, the mask is everything that you could wish to be like. The mask is one of those artifacts that brings your innermost wild desires to life. Good becomes like if you, if you're funny, you become hilarious. If you're if you're cruel, you become vindictive. If you're if you're like him, it turned him into a, into a ladies man. And now when it fell into the hands of Dorian, he became, he became a monster. So it just depends on what your character is. Whatever your character is, the mask will amplify that. And as far as Jim Carrey playing the mask, he can just be himself in the role because even if he follows the director who tells him to act outrageous and funny, he's already got that down. He already specializes in that even to this day. Now, The Mask has a lot of great supporting characters, too. The crime lord, Dorian, is pretty good. Stan Lee's dog, Milo. To the irresistible, Tina Carlisle. Not to mention Dr. Arthur Newman. In this he, he may not He's not a very important character in this movie, but he's meant to offer exposition on The Mask's origins and roots and that its power is derived from Loki, the god of mischiefs himself. Now, fun fact about this guy, Dr. Arthur Newman, played by this band named Ben Stein who was real popular back in the day like in the 80s but he was he's a very he's a genius he's a supreme genius he used to be I heard that he used to be a teacher and like at the end of each class one at least one student will walk up to this man and ask him a question and trivia him and he'd always get it right so it's pretty impressive Rotten Tomatoes gives the mask a 77 percent score now the mask is not only a great Jim Carrey movie but a hilarious comedy period it has a solid mix of stylized action, slapstick comedy, which Jim Carrey is widely known for, watchable characters, and a lovable romance. 
It will also go down in history as one of the more hysterically funny comic book movies. Because, like, let's be honest. There are those comic book movies that are more funny than epic. Like, like, like Kick-A. Like Kick-A with uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson. That was more, that was more poking fun at the whole comic book superhero routine rather than being epic like Marvel. But aside from that, I will give it 7.7 SOs out of 10. So that is my review on the mask. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below if you liked it or if you didn't. But I'm really excited for this watch, for this um this play, this because it allows me to really un not be limited to just certain movies because throwback Thursday, this is my version of Throwback Thursday. It's called Way Back Wednesday. This is every Wednesday. So next movie, so next week, the next movie I'm going to give you is a re-review of Shallow How because that was one of my earlier videos. But this time, Shallow How is with the format that I keep using with the story and the characters and the rating. So I'll see you guys next time with my next video. Bye.